and I'm going to focus on the products themselves and share a framework we put together to help you evaluate and select these products. Uh, and the good thing is there are not too many of them yet. <laughs> but when you evaluate a marketplace or what we call data exchange platforms, uh, there's three major areas you want to look at. You know, a seller studio, how does it facilitate data sellers and acquiring data, standardizing data, packaging that data into products, licensing that data, paying, you know, billing it, et cetera, et cetera, all the way to distributing data. Uh, you know, what's the buyer studio? How easy is it make it for users to find data, evaluate data, define filters so they get exactly what they want, as you heard Eric say, uh, negotiate terms, pay for just what they want, acquire it, ingest it, transform it, and integrate it with their own data. And then for operators, you know, they, you know, use these tools to set up an account plans and payment tier or pricing tiers, right? And each of those tiers have different options um, and defining those options uh, and how easy it is to do that uh, and enforcing those in the marketplace is something that you want to look at when you're evaluating these products. And also the reporting and monitoring and troubleshooting that's available is really important as well. So I'm not going to go through each of these criteria. Uh, I'm just going to share with you some basic considerations. So for buyers, you might want to ask, you know, does this marketplace support most of the data we need? You know, one-stop shop. Does it deliver raw data, normalized or standardized data, or derived data, or all of that? Now, you probably want all of that, ideally. Um, can you validate data quality, completeness, and compliance? In other words, can the platform do that so you don't have to, right? Because if you don't trust the data, uh, you're not going to buy it, certainly, or use it. You know, can you do more than just download a file? Can you actually run queries and models against the data? Or as Eric was saying, can you share a space with the provider uh, to look at that data and, and maybe run models against it in real time before you even buy? As we said, we saw there, can you upload and enrich your data? For sellers, can you white label the platform so it looks and feels like your own? Does it facilitate commerce inside and outside? Uh, of the platform? Does it support unstructured and semi-structured data? Does it allow sellers and to what degree can they select who can access each product and who cannot? So that's blacklisting and, and whitelisting. Does it support complex licensing and pricing models, uh, multiple distribution methods? Uh, does it support clean rooms? Uh, does it impose fees for cross-region, cross-platform, cross-database sharing. That's something that uh, Snowflake and Databricks are duking out right now. Uh, for operators, is it a SaaS software or is it on-premises software? Does it run on one or multiple clouds? Some run on just one cloud today. I'm sure most of them are trying to expand to others. Uh, does it store the data itself? So in other words, you have to push the data for your products into the marketplace. Or can the marketplace grab the data where it lies? That's an important architectural distinction. And how do they price um, their products? Can you price it by consumption, by number of products, number of features, or number of organizations supported? And does it offer onboarding templates uh, for both buyers and sellers? So those are some of the basic considerations that you should uh, think about when evaluating the software.